Hello, aquarists. Thanks for watching my videos. And also this one, another case on fish diseases, which I encountered during my work as a fish doctor, working at uh, different fish facilities. I will share you uh, my PowerPoint so you can follow my work uh, during my diagnosis of fish diseases. And in this case, number 53, we had problems with Corridoris panda, with a bacterial and a parasitic sporozoa infection. We could see the fish were getting skinny, the body and the fins were rotten away. The body was getting red wounds and the, the tails were rotting off, fish were dying. You can see here how the tails are gone. They're completely falling off. Here we see it in detail. We see also red markings, so bloody red markings. It's usually due to bacterial or secondary parasitic infections. You see the tail is completely rotten off. The fish is very skinny, lost color. So this fish is wasting away, away. And a very good example to do your uh, uh, microscopical dye observation, doing your dissection, taking the scrapings. So we start first with a skin scraping. Here at a 100 magnification. We see a few uh, facultative parasites. That means they're not parasites. They're not the cause of the problem. See only one. I think it's a tetrahymena. And here looks like a kind of chylodonella, but only one of each. That means it's not a parasitic infection. That means they are there because there's tissue which is damaged and it's a lot of good feeding source for any protozoa or one cellular organism in, in the aquarium. But here there was a massive load of bacteria, which we found for, by the skin scraping. And I show you here in a higher magnification, you see the tiny black spots moving and moving here in the water, millions of bacteria. Here we see the colonies, big quantities attached to a part of the tail, of the, of the fit of the tail. And well, this is massive. Then you know you're dealing with a massive bacterial infection. Also the gills, they were damaged. You can see here the gill lamellae are rotten away. Also here, the gill lamellae are gone. And you can say like a necrosis or eating away by bacteria here also. All those gill filaments or gill lam the lamellae are gone. So that's usually bacterial infection causing this and that you have to take proper action. When we find when we checked internally, the intestine, the gut, we found two small black specks in the gut, the first part of the gut, you can see in the stomach look area, you can see more also here at a higher magnification. And here at 400, you see the spora here sitting together in the sporoblasts here. Uh, we, we cannot define which spore is all it is, but it's there and that is weakening the fish having an impact on the digestive tract. And the fish becomes, for that reason, weak and becomes bacterial infections. So we recommend that you put a weak fish, a very weak fish asleep, asleep because they suffer a lot. The parasite sporozoa, which we've seen in the gut, there is so far no treatment known for that, but you can control the secondary bacterial infection. And some fish might survive for many, many months, many years. You don't know how, how badly the infection with the sporozoa is. And when it's very little, so they can survive and the fish is kept in good conditions with good food and with proper treatment of the secondary bacterial infections. So you can treat here with an antibacterial medication like Viromorphum aquarium munzer or other antibiotic. Ask your vet or your aquarium shop. Feed the fish with Dr. Basley by food forte or professional care that strengthens the fish and helps during repair and feed that for a minimum of 20 days. Meanwhile, do not give other food to your fish. Uh, important to find out the source of the problem, which is usually the breeder. So that he should get the information, what we found on this fish. So we can try to correct in this breeding facility and try to uh, supply uh, better quality fish because the better quality fish usually starts uh, at the source. And that's the farmer, the breeder, or also you as an aquarium keeper, 
if you take not good care of your filtration, your water quality or your food, you might create problems. And that's the source of many diseases. So always think about that. Look at the causes of the fish diseases. Thank you for watching.